Hey guys, Dr. Tones here. I was just driving by this house and kind of stopped in on a whim. Uh, I got to talking to the homeowner. Turns out it's a turn of the century house and we got permission to hunt it. Some neat features about the house, it was actually picked up off of its foundation and spun 180 degrees. So where the front yard is, was the backyard and vice versa. So we're gonna start right over here, which is now the backyard. Used to be the front yard. You're picking up on it. This will actually be my first time with the Go Find series. Um, I've had a chance to kind of get acquainted with it, but I've never really put it through the paces. So um, here's a great place to learn. Got a turn of the century home right behind me, probably chock full of trash and everything. So let's go find some stuff. First target of the day. Well, second if you count that nail. Got a nice uh, Washington Quarter, 1942. Hey, it's not turn of the century, but it's old enough to be silver. I'll take it. <laughs> awesome. Nice. It's an Indian. It is. 1908. I hope this is 1908. And I hope it has an S on the back of it. Dirt Diggler found one of those a little while back. No S. Well, that would be why. It's a 1902. So, only 1908s and 1909s would have an S on them. But uh, either way, man, that is a cool coin. Awesome. I find these quite a bit at these uh, turn of the century homes and other campsites especially. This is a uh, harmonica reed. So yeah, it would have been inside the little harmonica. Isn't that awesome? Kind of makes you wonder what happened to the, uh, the other parts of it. Like I always find this part. I never find any other part of the harmonica. Wonder if they uh, changed the reeds out once they went bad and just chucked these. We may never know. If you know, write in the comment section below. I'm dying to find out. The first of many wheat pennies to come from this yard, I'm sure. It's one of the uh, things about these older yards is typically, well, where we are anyway, we typically find about 30 wheat pennies to every silver coin that we find. So they can almost become a nuisance. I, I hate to use that word nuisance because it's a cool coin. It's a wheat penny. But uh, they sure do get your hopes up sometimes. Here's one of my favorite collectibles. Check it out. Suspender clasp. These are awesome to find, I think. Some of these things actually have the brand name on them or like a patent date. So we're gonna have to clean this up when we get home and see if it has any info on it. I'd be curious to find out what date range it's from. All right, guys, I gotta run, but all in all, it's been a very successful short hunt. I'm glad that I had the go find with me and I'm glad that I got permission on this place. I'm gonna give some of this stuff to the homeowners and uh, maybe we'll get invited back to do the rest of the yard because it is freaking gigantic. Anyway, yeah, we've got a, 1942 Washington Silver Quarter. Uh, looks like a 1916 Wheat Penny. 1902 Indian, not 1908. And uh, looks like maybe a 1940-something Wheat. Suspender class. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about my harmonica. Where'd I put that? You guys take care. We'll see you next time.